So some of you might have seen the video that I posted on Saturday showing my freezer full of meat. That is organically raised beef. Bought it from a farmer who happens to be a co-worker and a friend of mine. It's really damn tasty. And I bought it because I want to support him and I want to buy local. That's why. So I don't have a problem with organic food. That being said, why you absolutely must buy organic food. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Hey guys, Noah Hammond here. Welcome back for another video advice. Today is about health and it's about why you absolutely, without a doubt, must start buying and eating organic food only. So I want to make it very clear right from the start, as if it wasn't clear enough from the fact that I just bought a bunch of organic meat. I am not against organic farming. Support local, build up good relationships with the farmers in your area. Good. What I'm against is what this guy is about to say in terms of nutrition and how this stuff works. It's just wrong. This stuff really is important and it's going to save you potentially a lot of strife down the road and a lot of health problems. No, really, if you follow the advice this guy's going to give, you are really going to fuck up your health. I'm serious. This guy is dangerous. The way that industrial farming is done, they plant the same crop on the same soil over and over and over and over again. They stuff it full of fertilizers and they don't allow the natural cycle of composting and decomposing and crop cycling to occur. Crop cycling really isn't any more natural than fertilizer. The reason crop cycling came about was because people noticed that when they planted the same crops again and again and again in the same soil, that the plants weren't growing as well, and that eventually they'd stop growing. What they discovered was that the different plants suck up different minerals. So the solution they came up for this was to cycle the plants around and around and around. Then we came up with fertilizer, which replaces the minerals that the plants took out of the soil. So you can keep planting the same crop over and over and over and over again. In other words, crop cycling really isn't any more natural than fertilizer. And organic farmers aren't necessarily rotating their crops either. What they're doing is they're using manure and compost instead of any artificially manufactured fertilizer. In other words, they're still fertilizing the ground. So, the way farming is supposed to be done is you farm a crop and then you allow the soil to replenish by composting and re rejuvenating the soil with lots and lots of nutrition by allowing organic material to decompose there, right? And then you plant another crop and you cycle the crops so that you can keep doing this. Industrial farming, they just plant over and over and over again and they just stuff it full of fertilizers. And if you can... Again, you're demonstrating a complete lack of knowledge of how actual farming works. Compare this to anything, it would be like trying to get all of your nutrition from vitamins only, right? It just simply does not work. Your body can't just take vitamins and get what it needs. In, in fact, vitamins are bad for you. I'm going to assume that he's not a complete dumbass, and what he means is that vitamin supplements are bad for you. Mm. They're really just a waste of money, at least if you're getting the vitamins that you need from the food you eat. However, if you are missing some, and many people are, a vitamin supplement is not going to hurt you. If you are getting them from the food that you eat, your body tends to flush out most of them, so the worst that happens is that your urine is a little bit extra concentrated. You might have a few problems with kidney stones, depending on what vitamins. Vitamins usually don't cause kidney stones. Calcium, stuff like that, yeah. Watch that. Vitamins, not really. 
And the end result is that the food that grows, while it looks the same, its nutritional value is nowhere near the same. And the most extreme example of this is in a study they did at Rutgers University where tomatoes that were grown organically had about 2,000 parts per billion of iron to one. They found one part per billion in the non-organic tomatoes, right? So obviously... Rutgers, New Jersey Agricultural Experiment Station. Misquotes in Variation in Mineral Composition of Vegetables. A study conducted at Rutgers University, Bear et al., 1948, is frequently misquoted as evidence supporting the position that organically grown vegetables are significantly superior in minerals and trace elements to conventionally grown vegetables. A link to that full article will be below. Diseases come only from two things, either toxicity or deficiency. Bullshit! Bullshit! And it's right there that that guy really started to piss me off. Right there, buddy. Do I really need to explain why that's full of crap? If you're not getting your vitamins and minerals, you're going to become deficient. If you're deficient for long enough, your body can't maintain balance and you're going to get a disease. Let me be crystal clear about this. Yes, an improper diet can leave you more vulnerable to certain diseases. It does not make you more vulnerable to all diseases. Some diseases really don't care how healthy you are. Not eating organic food is going to cause you to have more disease. And this is just proven. This is just factual. The tests are out there. The data is out there. There has not been one study done that shows that organically grown food is any more nutritious for you than the standard farmed food. None. The study you cited is often misquoted as demonstrating that. It does not show that. You're wrong. And you're being deceptive. And then he talks about pesticide use and all that, and I'm not really going to question him about that, except for when he says this at the end of it. All right, so that's another thing. That's going to cause toxicity. And again, you can only get sick or get disease as a result of toxicity or deficiency. Stupid! You're so stupid! Again, I'm not saying that pesticides aren't a problem. If you buy stuff that has been coated with pesticides, make sure to wash it properly. In fact, even if you buy organic, you should still probably check and wash everything first, just because you don't quite know what might have gotten on it. There's a bunch of natural stuff that's still not very good for you if you ingest it. That being said, my issue here is with his claim that Deficiencies and toxicity are everything that causes disease. That's that stupid naturopathy bullshit that I fucking hate. And lastly, and really most critically, is that inorganic food can be genetically modified, right? Which other countries around the world have banned. Appeal to popularity. Now, I know there are some of my subscribers who are anti-GMO. I am not. I have problems with the business practices of said companies. The foods themselves are, have been proven to be safe. Any study that has shown anything against GMO has been disproven. Especially that stupid rat study. Stop using that! But yes, that's a fucking appeal to popularity. It does not address the issue. Show what's wrong with it. Don't say, hey, these people have banned it, therefore it must be bad. No, it doesn't work that way. Show me why. These genetically modified Franken foods are proven to cause cancer and other issues. Again referring to the thoroughly discredited rat study. Let me reiterate. There is a probability that certain pesticides can increase your risk of cancer. This can be taken care of by washing the food. The GMOs themselves 
are perfectly fine. And now you're saying that GMOs can cause cancer. Oh, boy, you really are an asshole. So if you're not buying organic, natural foods, you're likely getting something that was farmed in a way that it has almost no nutrition. False. Again, the purpose of fertilizer, be it manure, compost, artificial fertilizers, etc., is to replenish the nutritional value of the soil so that the plants can grow. If they don't have what the plant needs, it won't grow. There's no nutritional difference between something organically grown and something grown in a regular farming, normal, whatever, farming manner. That is covered in pesticides and other harmful chemicals. Again, there's no guarantee that something that's organically grown won't have something harmful on it. You should wash all your food. And then it's genetically modified in a way that does not deliver to your body what it needs and actually causes cancer. You do realize that there are genetically modified foods out there that have been modified such that they deliver vaccines to people and that they actually sometimes increase the nutritional content of it. In fact, there's really nothing that says that a GMO crop cannot be grown in an organic manner. True, it's not usually the norm. However, all organic farming means is that you're using just manure and compost and not using artificial fertilizers. It doesn't necessarily mean that the food itself is not genetically modified. And I've actually developed the ability to tell when I'm eating something that's not organic. My body can sense the difference in nutrition. It's actually blatantly obvious to me at this point. So I know this to be true from experience, not just from reading. Argument from personal experience. Do you want to actually try to test that? I'm willing to bet that you would fail miserably. And so the last thing that I want to convey to you is the thought of price. You know, oh, you know, no, it sounds good. You know, sure, I should buy organic food, I know. But it's more expensive. It's so much more expensive. What I'll say about that is you're either going to... And I got this from an 11-year-old boy who's pretty dang smart. Not that I'm saying that everything an 11-year-old says is wrong. But you might want to consider asking for a different source. Seems to me, he says, you're either going to be paying the farmer or the hospital. And that's absolutely true. Again, by all means, support your local farmers. It's a great idea. It's a great way to stimulate the local economy. And you get to build up the relationship with them. It's great. I do it. The, do, need I refer to the meat from before? Uh, but this isn't necessarily going to prevent you from going to the hospital. Oh, it just angers me so much. Do you want to have cancer? Eat food that's deficient in the nutrients that your body needs for long enough and you're going to develop cancer. Some cancer can be caused by diets. It's that he's implying that every single fucking cancer is caused by your diet. That gets me fucking infuriated. Cancer is not a single disease. It's a label for a genetic mutation that occurs that causes cells to multiply out of control. There are actually several different ways that this can happen, and not every cancer requires the same treatment. Not every cancer has the same bloody damn cause. I have several friends and family members who have had cancer. Two of them I can think of right away. Angus, I know, is already going to be addressing this video. Nellie Diddle, who is also going to watch this and probably tear you a new one if she's not satisfied with the job that Angus and I have done. Not every cancer is caused by your diet. 
Some cancer is genetic. Some cancer is environmental. Some cancer just happens. Trying to claim that it's entirely from your diet is idiotic and dangerous. You're an... I don't have the words. Evil. Evil person. Whether you think you're acting in the best interest of people or not, you are evil. It's just a byproduct of deficiency or toxicity. You keep repeating that as if it will make it true. It's not. You know, if there is anywhere on the planet that you should not be cutting costs, it's at the grocery store. You know, we wake, we grow up with this, you know, cut the coupons, save money at the grocery store mentality. We see our parents do it, and that used to be okay because we didn't used to have genetically modified, disgusting imitations of food on the shopping shelves. What was cheap was just a good deal back then. Now what's cheap is deadly. I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but then again, he's repeated himself so often, I can't help it. Yes, watch your diet. Support your local farmers. That's all good stuff. Look after your health. The way he's saying it will affect your health is what I have a problem with. That's complete bullshit. And no, GM foods are not going to kill you. Your body is the only thing you truly have for this entire life. Or you gotta treat it like it's a pristine temple. You gotta only put the highest quality ingredients into it. And organic foods are what you need. It's gonna nourish your body, it's gonna nourish your soul, it's gonna allow your brain to think more effectively. You're gonna be more effective in life. Yeah, eat healthy. Organic or not, really doesn't figure into this. In some cases, it might affect the taste, particularly with organic meats, because they tend to eat a different diet. Meat tastes different depending on what it eats. Vegetables, not so much. So it's probably obvious I cut out a lot of that video. Most of what I cut out is fluff. If you want to watch the entire video, link will be below. For the umpteenth time, support your local farmers. If you want to buy organic, fine. My issue with his video is this stressing that it's disease is caused by toxicity and deficiency. Bull fucking shit. Stay healthy. Eat a proper diet. GMOs, eating GMOs is not going to kill you. You can have a problem with the business practices all you want with pesticide use. Yes, I understand that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hopefully I've been fairly clear. I'm Andrew, Firefly 404. Peace, stay shiny. I'm out. I need sleep.